So um, we went out for a walk and while we were out for a walk I noticed there was a injured bird in the um, in the road. So I scooped down, I just were literally just come in, scooped down, picked it up, um, put it underneath a bush. Um, we came back after like 15 minutes or so and the bird was still there. So rather than leave it to nature, uh, I scooped it up and put it in the, um, D had a, like a, a fanny pack or in the UK they call them like a bum bag. So uh, it's a little sparrow. It's in there right now. So I got the got the cat cat cage and I'm gonna put it in there. Dee's gone downstairs to see if she can find some like sesame seeds. And we'll give it some water and see if it can be nursed back to health. Not sure. So I'm going to put this in here. Take a lead on even over processed. Are you serious? They'll eat your McDonald's hamburger if you drop it on the floor. Simon, you're hearing scratching, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Hi, hi, baby. He looks pretty injured. You're not looking too good, buddy. Hmm? Come on, buddy. He's probably scared. Just not probably leave him be. Yeah. We'll get you some water as well, okay? Just shallow, a little shallow thing of cool water. But you look very beat up. Is this too much? What do you mean? To put water in? Or it needs to be like... No, that's, the size is okay. I'm just, it's not very sturdy. So I have a um, little plastic injector with water. I'm going to do what I can. Come on, buddy. There's some water there. Come on, buddy. We got you some water. Mm -hmm. You want some water? So I got some seeds over this side. I put some water in my camera lens cap 
here. Come on, buddy. You don't want that? There's some water here behind you, okay? So, I think maybe the best thing is, is just to leave it alone. Um, I've put some water down, I've put some seed down. Let's see if it gets through the night. I think I'll put it on top of my uh, printer tonight so I can kind of see in. More than likely he ran into a car windshield. Come on, buddy. Get better, okay? Get better, Mom. So, some really good news. Um, I peeked in the cage this morning and uh, it seems like the, the, the bird made it through the night. I don't know if it eat, I don't know if it ate, I don't know if it drunk, uh, drank any water, but um, you know, it's, uh, it's a good sign that it made it through. So today I'm gonna try and take it to a wildlife um, recovery center of what, whatever they call them. Apparently, I think there's one near here. I just got up, so I got me a coffee. <laughs> right now. Uh, some good news is I, I talked about this on Facebook and one of my longtime friends, probably my all time longest friend here, um, Catherine, she kind of reached out and said, look, you know, uh, there's a place that I've taken five birds to called the Raptor Trust. So I thought she was joking initially because, you know, raptors being eagles, birds of prey and what have you. I thought to myself, this is just a small bird. Um, <clears throat> but we spoke a bit more and she, she was legit and the place is legit and it's in Morristown, which is 45 minutes away. So I got to jump in the car. Um, I'm going to do it at like nine o'clock. So it's 8.22 right now. Uh, yeah, it'd be, be interesting to see what this place is like. Uh, be nice to know that this place is kind of nearby. So should I need to, you know, go there again? Hopefully not. But I looked in the cage this morning and the neck is all bloody because I guess it hit something with the side of its head. Um, his eye is messed up. All the feathers were kind of ripped out on one side. So as they were being ripped out, it just, you know, caused a mess. The tail is uh, like 45 to 90 degrees to it to its body. So that's kind of weird. Um, it's hobbling around. I think one of its legs is uh, is is injured. Um, yeah, so I don't really. It's not really. Sometimes when it wakes up, it kind of you know looks around and about and what have you. But it doesn't. It's not really like super responsive. Uh, more than anything, right now, it just seems to be sleeping a lot. So in about forty five minutes, I'm going to jump in the car, and um, we'll we'll go in. Take the bird to the Raptor Trust. Uh, I'll even suggest to them that 
if and when it is healed, I would happily go and get it again, bring it back to this area to re-release it in this area uh, in case uh, it's familiar with its with the surroundings here. So that's it, I'm basically ready to go. Uh, I'm just gonna check on the bird, make sure it's okay. Um, I might see if I can take a photograph of it without disturbing it, freaking out too much. And then uh, grab my shoes, wallet, keys, and phone and go. So it'd be a 45 minute drive there and uh, hopefully they'll be able to take it. Hey pal. Hey pal. How you doing, buddy? I don't want to freak it out too much, so um, I'm going to put on my shoes and go and uh, go to the Raptor Center in Morristown, New Jersey. I'm about three miles, 2.8 miles away from the exit. Not quite sure where I'm going. I'm, I, mean, I know Morristown pretty well, but I don't know the street. So uh, it says I'll be there in 16 minutes. So it's been a bumpy ride, lots of turns and stuff. So I'll, uh, I'll wait to see how the bird is once I actually get there. So hopefully everything's all right. Ah, uh, what a journey. We're in the country now. See you through the fence there. Hi. You're a beauty. Golden Eagle. Beauty. Hi, pal. Hi, buddy.
Well, I dropped our little buddy off at uh, the Raptor, uh, the Raptor Trust. I'll have to, uh, I have to call, um, email back in two days to see how, to see how he's doing, if he's doing at all. You know, I said I think he ran into a car, or a car ran into him, and, uh, he's pretty beat up. I think he's blind in one eye, part of his beak is busted, his leg is done, something. So, two days, I'll call back and see what the dealio is. Hopefully, uh, he's still alive and they can release him locally, they said. So, things like ravens would have to be better, better to be released in the territory, in the area that they were found. So, I did my part, or we did our part, D and I, and uh, now back home I go.